Hey guys, what is up? This is Black Ops Quickscope 2010 or BCK20, and I am bringing you part 4 of my 1v1 series. I'm pretty sure it's part 4. Don't get me wrong, it could be part 5, but I think it's part 4. Anyways, this is amazing. This guy, Ruza, I, I was in an infected lobby. He was probably 11 years old. I was in an infected lobby. I said, does anybody want a 1v1? He backed out immediately and invited me. I was like, okay. So I went in there. Like I said, probably 11 years old. <laughs> and what is so spectacular about this gameplay is that I get a mob. He was hosting, so I asked him. I was like, did you put it on 20 kills? He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, so we're going to 1,000. He's like, no, no. I was like, okay, so we're going to 1,500. He was like, no, we're going to 1,500, which shows how little of a kid he was. <laughs> and so I got a mob on him. He ends the game at 28 kills, as you'll see. But I got a mob on him. I kind of felt bad for it because he was such a little kid. And, you know, I mean, it, it wasn't all that hard the first game. <laughs> thing is, he ends it so that his brother can 1v1 me, okay? And so, his brother is sitting there in the pregame lobby saying, dude, I'm gonna kill you, blah, blah, blah. I go 30 and all against him and get another mob. <laughs> so two mobs in a row, two different games against a little kid and his brother, who both thought that they would beat me. So I decided to add both mobs. To this gameplay as you guys will see I mean it's just incredible the first game might be a little bit slow the second game is a little bit faster because the, I mean the kid all he wanted to do was throw throwing knives he straight up said that he was like dude all I get my kills by is throwing knives so as you'll see I'm kind of head glitching a little bit because I didn't want to die by a freaking throwing knife on a 23 kill streak one away and his brother whenever he gets on actually learns to shoot his gun so I mean that's a little bit harder but I still get a mob on him and it was fun one thing I'd like to talk about right now is game battles as you guys have all seen on my channel I put dispute info or dispute proof all the time two videos ago I put proof it's like a seven minute dispute proof video I put proof of us winning the first game and I put proof of us waiting five minutes because the guys didn't want to play the third map. Okay, that's all good. I posted that. And I, later that night, got another dispute because we beat a really good team. And they didn't like that, so they tried to get away with trying to get the win. So I put video proof of us winning two of the three games on there. And it was all good to go. I was like, okay, there's no way that we can lose either of these. And I say that on both of them because I have to fill out a little sheet. Or not a sheet, I guess. On the internet, I have to fill out a form saying why, what happened, you know. All that gay little English crap. So, I get on game battles yesterday. On Sunday. Because I was wanting to do some doubles with my buddy Isaac. And... I go on there and I see that we have another loss. And by this time we were 0 4 because all we got was really, really good teams. And so, well, we were 1 and 4. And then I saw that we were 1 and 5. I was like, um, okay. And so I went on the. I, like, I didn't think anything of it. And so I tried to set up a match. And it kept saying, like, it wouldn't let me. It wouldn't let me find a match, create a match, or anything. And then I see in fine print on the right that my team has been locked. The team that didn't want to play the third map, I don't know what happened because that should have been a win. We waited five minutes for them to try to join or invite us or whatever. Our doubles clan got locked because apparently we disputed for no reason. That absolutely pisses me off. I straight up showed that we had reasoning. We won the first map. They won the second map. We were supposed to play the third map. But they wouldn't! And, ugh, that pissed me off. And so our doubles clan was locked. Well, the other guys that we played that we beat were really good. I had clear proof. I was like, okay, there's no way we are losing this one. 
Because, I mean, we've lost another one where the third map wasn't played, and they were like, you have no proof of the third map, and I was like, well, we didn't play it. What proof do you want? And he's like, sorry, I'm going off proof alone. Okay. So our other one, we beat these guys two out of the three games. I showed that. I get another message today saying that the match has been canceled. That the community has decided to cancel the match. I don't know why. We won in a good clan, disputed against us, so that automatically means that the GB admins just cancel the match? I mean, can they not take a loss? Oh, yeah. They probably looked at it. Oh, this clan is 1 and 5, dude. They suck. There's no way they won. This other clan is like 14 and 0. Well, we won. I show it. And they decide to cancel the match and give neither team a win or loss. So, I am very close to absolutely being done with game battles. And I sent the GB admins a nice little message, pretty much saying, F off, you guys suck. And so, I figured that that account would probably get banned. And so, me and Isaac made new accounts so that we have better records, or we will. And all that because we are absolutely sick of losing from all these gay losses and so we're going really try hard on our other our new doubles clan and it's going to be great i will be uploading some game battles videos hopefully soon whenever i learn how to record skype because me and isaac play search and destroy 2v2 and we're allowed to use skype so we can talk to each other and so I mean, once I figure out how to record our Skype, like, calls, I can just show the video and show us talking, and it'll be kind of a cool video to watch, you know, see how we go competitive gameplay, or how we do competitive gameplay, and all that. Hopefully I continue doing competitive gameplay if nothing, or if none of this other gay stuff ends up happening, but, yeah, I mean, that, that really grinded my gears, just seeing, like, we finally got on the lucky side, we beat a good clan, and they're going to cancel the match because they don't think that a good clan should lose, I guess. I honestly don't know the reason for them canceling the match. What I'm guessing is that somebody, one of the two players on their team's new a game battles admin or somebody, somebody high up there, and told them, cancel this match, we don't want a loss. And so, that's what happened, and, you know... I mean, you have to get over it. It's done. You can't really do anything, but it still pisses me off. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Get two mobs in two games. I know it is two 1v1s. I could have split it up just to make this series shorter for me, but I didn't want to. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys next time.